I want to show you this method of doing a, a cluster of product one versus product two posts. And you don't necessarily need AI to do this. You just need Google Sheets and an imagination. It helps if you know concatenate. It helps if you know some programmatic SEO. And if you have some web scraping tools, those definitely help. But for this, I'm just going to be using, I may do some elements of scraping, but to keep this as concise as possible, I'm going to be using Google Sheets and the Bulk Publishing AI WordPress plugin. I've used Perplexity AI. Hopefully you've heard about it already. I, I've spoken about it a few times and it's a great research tool, real-time data. It's a combination of AI and as you can see, the SERPs and it's got YouTube and all kinds of stuff. It is a Swiss army knife when it comes to AI and new information. So research, I love it. So I've just asked them what the top Dell laptops were and we're going to be creating, it's going to come up to 45 different posts because we're going to be comparing each of these up to here. I'm not going to do the gigabytes and stuff. We're going to do it up to the processor and we're going to be comparing them with each other. So the Dell XPS 13 is going to be compared with the Dell Inspiron 15 and then the 16 and the G15 and that's going to be compared with the 16 and so on. So they're all going to compare with each other and there's 10 of them. Once you take out the duplicates, you should be left with 45 unique pairs. How amazing is that? Because if you take this same method and apply it to your niche, it could be lawnmowers or specific barbecue grills or anything you can think of, especially in the tech niche where there are an unlimited amount of combinations because this is just one brand. But then you could take this and then compare it to different HP laptops and MacBooks with different Acer laptops and so on. So you have an insane amount of uh, product focus posts and keywords, long tail keywords that probably most of these won't be covered, but that you can generate or create in a relatively short space of time. And with the right template, you can do a very good job of it, a very good job of it. So as I said, I've, I've taken these and I First, I've used cross join to compare these to each other. The cross join formula is allowing me to put them up against each other. This is actually made to compare three different rows. I've had to delete the other row and it's left me with all the different variations, but lots of duplicates. So I've taken this list with all its duplicates. And I've given that to our friend, ChatGPT, and I've told it, and we went back and forth a little bit, so I pasted the whole thing in. I said, remove duplicate pairs and one-to-one, -one, and it didn't understand it. It started giving me the Python. It doesn't know I am Pythonly challenged, so I had to keep telling it stuff, like do it for me, and eventually we came to a consensus, and I, I think I told it to write it in Markdown, and yeah, give me a what you see is what you get version. So it done that. And rather than keep going back and forth with it, I thought, let me just take this list as it is. And then I'll have to remove things like this, these one-to-one -one comparisons. And once you've taken out the one-to-one -one comparisons, you'll be left with 45. So I do have to take these out. There, there is, There are easier methods. I'm always aware. <laughs> if you know Excel or Google Sheets, you know that there will be easier methods of data cleanup. But for me, this is what I'm doing. So finding all the one-to-one -one ones, and then I should be left with 45. But we're down to, I think I've got one more to do because there we go. And where is it? Where are you? Is it this one? Yeah, okay. That's it. All the pairs are now unique, I think. They should be. Yes. So this is going to be 
product one versus product two. And as I said, they're comparing with each other. And then all the other ones are comparing with the other ones. You now have 45 individual pairs. And these are all going to be articles. Great stuff. We're going to now create the slug and the main keyword. The slug formula is already there. Just going to bring that down. So when we put it in, it's there. And we're going to generate the main keyword. As I said, this is not keyword research. This is topical dominance. This is throwing everything up and covering your niche. This is one of those methods. So I'm sure they are keywords in some way. It's probably going to be Dell XPS 13 versus Inspire 115. Either way, we are covering them all because it's relatively easy to do so. So why not? And to do this, to make the keyword, we're going to just do concatenate. So concatenate and we're going to grab product one and we're going to space it. We're not going to put any full stops or anything like that, but we do need to make sure there's a space before and after the verses. So it's spaced out when we put it together, comma, and then product two, close bracket. And now we have our main keyword. Again, if you don't like it having Intel, like the process, I'm doing this because I want to. If you want to just keep it simple and keep it to the product number, if you delete them from here, it's going to delete it from there as well. So you would just drag it down and oh, I think you drag it all the way. And then you've got a cleaner version, but I'm leaving them. I want that there. And as I said, we've concatenated, so we've got the formula for that. And we can now do that with all of them. So these are our main keywords. And the slug, as we've got the formula there, so the slug's been generated. Again, if you don't want the slug to have all of that, you want to make it shorter and you just want it to have the name, you would just do that. You would just delete it and the slug would update. These fields are all linked so the main keyword is linked to this and that and this is all I would look to do in the sheet unless I'm adding internal links to show comparisons which I probably would do because in this case they are all the same brand so I could very easily either do a, a, a contextual paragraph saying if you're interested in other Dell laptops, or maybe you want to check out these comparisons instead. If you're still not happy with the choices on the page, if they've come to visit this keyword and they're not happy with either of those laptops, I could create a contextual paragraph that mentions other posts. So four other posts that I've made comparing this laptop they, that they've already searched for with other laptops that are similar. And in order to do that, I would need to create the internal links and I could do that in the sheet. I'm not going to write the formula out. I'm going to copy it and paste it from another sheet. And I'm going to demonstrate how it would look. So I have these other fields now. I'm going to paste them in. We may not need all of them. So we're just going to go through them. This is from my bulk publishing sheet. Of course, site.com would be your site for this example. I'm probably actually going to go through and upload these on bulk publishing AI just so I can demonstrate how they turn out. I'm not expecting to rank for any of these terms, but I'm going to put them up. You'd put the site, Bulk Publishing AI, and you do want that for everything. Now how many? Oh, that's supposed to be 46. And you've got your site there. So now you've got your anchor text, but your anchor text is going to be the main keyword. So my anchor text is going to be the full thing, Dell XPS, blah, 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 versus that one. So that is A2. And we're going to replace this with A2. Yep. Auto fill. And to make the URL, we've got equals concatenate M2. So the website forward slash e2 but e2 is supposed to be the slug which is b2 in this case so we need to swap for b2 
And now we have the page URL. So once published, this is going to be the page URL. It's quite long, which is why if you don't want the processor in or any other data, you want to keep it to the model number, that's understandable. But this is what we're doing in this case. So we have the URL and now we have to make the ahref. So again, once you've got this ahref, you can create bullet points and link to four or five or however many different posts you want to in each of your articles. So when you publish, all of them will have internal links. Or within the bulk publishing WordPress plugin, you can take all of those URLs. So you could still generate your four internal links for each post. And you can tell it to write a contextual paragraph linking all of this together. So it will do all the work for you and it will be completely unique. And it would say something like, if this is not suitable, of course, it's based on your prompt, but you can say, if you didn't like either of these laptops, then here are some others. This one, I compare this with this. And in this post, I've looked at these two and it will link them together in a again, unique and creative way, which is better than the bullet point method, which is the lazy method. But nonetheless, it's an it's a method. So we've got the href. Let's just double check before we click and drag. Uh, so the concatenate is href. And then the URL. And then the anchor text, the URL, that's correct. And anchor text is in N, so not C2. It's going to be N2. Yep. So now these are our internal links. Once they all of these posts are published, they will be active links. And then now in this field, let's just clip this. Let's clip it. In this field, we've got the internal links. This is what each post would be linking to. So naturally, the first one is going to link to the second post, the third post, the fourth and the fifth. And then on the next line down, all we'd have to do is click and drag. So they all follow that same pattern. And then here, we'll just go and fill in the missing one. So it will be P2 because P2 will not have received any links because we start at P2. So P2 links to P3, P4, P5, and P6. And then P3 links to P4, P5. Oh, not done it yet, but uh, you can, you, you get the point. You get the point. I do this. Let's do both of them at the same time. And then we have to make up for the missing one. So we go back to the beginning, P2, P3, two, P3, P4, and then P2, P3, P4, P5. So everything has a link. And yeah, not sure how Google feels about everything having a, a very specific number of links, but they all link to each other. And they are all going to be related with a paragraph. It's all, it's all going to look good. So this is all I would do in the sheet at this point because I'm using the plugin. If you weren't using the plugin and you were using AI within the sheet, you'd want to generate your title, your meta description. You'd want to write prompts for all of these things. So you'd be writing a prompt, a custom prompt to say, write about product one, write about product two. What's the same about product one and product two? What's different? And so on. But these fields are all going to be imported into the bulk publishing AI WordPress plugin. And I'm going to write prompts to do all of these for me before I ultimately piece them together with a template. So that's what I'm going to do now.